Yeah, so here, here's an interesting one. Uh, why, why did you all adopt a full service mesh and not just uh, like some ingress controllers, for example? Yeah, I mean, look, I think once you um, once you move uh, to, to microservices and containers, you're going to have that, that east and west traffic management that's completely different from your north and south traffic, right? And so, you know, ingress is going to help you with that. And in fact, you, you can use uh, the ingress for uh, for Envoy or Istio, right? And, and have that north north south traffic uh, from Kubernetes. But you're going to need something to manage your east and west traffic, particularly uh, to make sure lateral movement is limited, right? So you, you don't want a bad actor having access to one containers and be able to talk to all of the containers and just laterally move to your current rules. So we we whitelist right, traffic between containers down to the mm -hmm. container level. And that's how we enforce your trust. So that's why you gotcha. need a service mesh. But service mesh also brings you so many more features, right? I mean, we can talk about uh, even chaos engineering with fault injection. You can talk about, yep. uh, you know, a modern routing with the uh, AB testing, canary release, you know, uh, all, all that kind of stuff. Uh, all the layer seven, uh, uh, load balancing, uh, you know, dynamic routing. I mean, it's, I mean, you know that better it's than the I litany. Right? Yeah, uh, it's the litany. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's a whole, so, we can, we can fill the rest of the time. Just listen to features. Right? The, the, yeah. There is the meeting features that, uh, and, and the key, right. Is so people don't understand why, but, but that if you don't do that, if you don't use a service mesh, you end up having to do it per programming language per microservice. And now you're tightly exactly. coupled when you release and you're going to have new things you're going to need to do for service discovery and all the authentication encryption stuff. And let's say you need to update your encryption uh, bits. Now you have to update all your containers where you could just update your, your sidecar service mesh and, and now you're decoupled. And, and that, that alone is, is worth uh, using a service mesh. Yeah, well, and not even, and one of the other elements there too uh, is the, the test matrix that explodes as you yeah, start to yeah. build these, these per language frameworks that we need yeah. to make sure work across all the combinations of all the versions that are deployed. Uh, mm -hmm. And especially because in app, like you said, it's a rebuild to re and redeploy, uh, mm -hmm. which is far more costly than, than uh, redeploying just a sidecar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, um, I don't think you can succeed honestly today at any kind of scale, a meaningful scale with other savvy smash. It would be um, very short-sighted. I, I don't mm -hmm. think you can succeed. In 2020, maybe in 2018, but not in 2020. Right? <laughs> I like that. We're gonna we're gonna clip that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it. Uh, I mean it. Good. Yeah. No, I I agree. Right. I think it's a. I think it's. You you certainly need all of the features that a service mesh provides to have a legitimate distributed system. Uh, and I definitely yep. think that uh, it being assembled in that way is is really nice. Uh, makes yeah. it the easiest to consume that we've seen so far.